Well, here's a fun little book, Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz. I first came across Anthony Horowitz when I used to watch this show, uh, Foil's War, which was about a detective in World War II Britain in a place called Hastings. Found it a really entertaining show. And the reason that Anthony Horowitz uh, popped up on my radar was he showed up in the credits all the time, it seemed to me, as uh, the writer of that book. Now, a few months ago, I don't know quite how long, I reviewed this book that he did, uh, Trigger Mortis, which was uh, kind of a riff on uh, Ian Fleming and James Bond. And it was uh, it was pretty okay. It was okay. Uh, now, more recently, I picked up this uh, Magpie Murders. Now, first off, I'm going to say right away, I know that there's a TV series that's based on this book. I think it's on the BBC, and surely it's on PBS. I don't watch PBS anymore. Uh, BritBox, I do watch, but I've never, never ever seen this. <laughs> but good little story. Here's what it is. You got two mysteries. One is kind of wrapped around the other. Now, here's the way the story works. You've got this uh, editor for a London publishing house, a woman named Susan Ryland, who gets a, a manuscript from uh, their number one uh, detective fiction uh, writer, a guy named Alan Conway. And this, uh, it, 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 you, you read the manuscript that you got along with her, and uh, the manuscript features this guy's, uh, Alan Conway's main hero, a detective named uh, Atticus Punt. Now, it's an obvious ripoff on Hercule Poirot, but, uh, and, and as a matter of fact, the, 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 the plot or the way this, uh, story, this manuscript is written, it's very much in the manner of, uh, Agatha Christie. Anyway, the woman spends the weekend reading it. She gets to the end of the manuscript and the final two chapters are gone. They're missing. When she gets to the office on Monday, she discovers that this guy, uh, Alan Conway has uh, died over the weekend, and apparently it's a result of uh, suicide. So she starts off, and this is the whole second half of this book, Magpie Murders. She starts off trying to find the missing two chapters, you know, the solution to the uh, to the mystery. Along the way, she discovers that uh, it's not so clear that this uh, writer, Alan Conway, actually committed suicide. She thinks he may have been murdered. Now, what happens is that uh, when you solve, when she finds, finally finds the final two chapters and solves the uh, uh, mystery that's in the manuscript she started off with, that leads her to solve the question of, uh, was Alan Conway, uh, did he commit suicide or was he actually murdered? Very, very entertaining thing. Now, there are two uh, big parts of it that kind of stuck with me and uh, uh, I, I found pretty uh, pretty entertaining. One is uh, there's a ton, a ton of references to uh, British uh, detective fiction. You know, you, you've got references to the, the superstar writers of uh, British detective stories. You know, Agatha Christie, Ian Rankin, uh, Dorothy Sayers, all the, all these people. You got references to their heroes, uh, you know, uh, Hercule Poirot, Miss Marple, Inspector Morse, and also references to uh, uh, British uh, detective fiction TV shows. Midsummer Murders and stuff like that. Now, along the way, you get these little conversations or uh, meditations or whatever you would want to call them about why do people like me actually like uh, murder mysteries? And, uh, you know, it comes up uh, from time to time in the course of reading this book, and it's this stuff is uh, pretty interesting. I, to me, it's kind of interesting. And I know that Anthony Horowitz got, has gotten criticized by some people for the what they think is his attitude towards people who actually like this stuff. 
I didn't find anything wrong whatsoever with his attitude. I thought I just plain thought it was uh, an interesting take on it and something to think about. Now the other thing, uh, apart from uh, this uh, kind of theme of British detective fiction, the other thing that stuck with me from the book and I found interesting was just what is it that uh, editors working for publishing houses do? And uh, I I suppose it's it's probably accurate. It's probably right. I found it I found it pretty interesting. I mean, the only thing I ever thought about in terms of uh, editing books is uh, I've, it's always driven me crazy when uh, you get, uh, uh, what do you call them, uh, typographical errors, misspellings, things like that in them. And you know, I, I always thought that that was the job of the editor to spot all that stuff and correct it and get it right. Anyway... It really sounds like these editors go well beyond that. And if that's true, what, what an interesting job they had. Anyway, the book as a whole, I called it a fun book at the start of this. I'd, I'd say it's very, very entertaining. Uh, it doesn't take you forever to read it. It's very well paced, very well written. Uh, I enjoyed it. And uh, you might, too. Uh, it, you know, now, if, you, if you've seen these TV shows and you already know the solution to the thing, you're not going to. But if you haven't, you probably like reading this. I surely did. That's my recommendation for this week. I'll be back next week with something, uh, something else. I don't know what it'll be. See you then.